Welcome, my friend. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If you have any questions, I will be happy to assist. Great. My name is Nike, and I'll probably take you up on that. On the table is a small coffin. So small, in fact, that it would only fit an infant. Charming. Flickering candles lend an appropriately spooky atmosphere to the museum. Reminds me of a book critic for the New York Times. He's got more hair than Mosley. The back wall displays various voodoo items, such as a feathered African mask. The back wall displays various voodoo items, such as an artist's rendering of the voodoo dances in Congo Square in the early 1800s. A very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. A street drummer has settled outside the museum. Could I ask you some questions? That is why I am here. What can you tell me about voodoo? Historical voodoo? Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city? Tell me about current voodoo. Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or grigri. That kind of practice is actually called voodoo, and is only a part of true voodoo. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city, and others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in their religion, are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I, personally, am more interested in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But, it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. Tell me more about current voodoo. There are many voodoo inns in New Orleans. They often do business selling grigri, telling fortunes, providing luck, and occasionally misfortune. Perhaps you would like to meet a voodoo inn. We refer those who seek a deeper experience with voodoo to a local practitioner. Magentia Moonbeam. Sure, I'd love to meet her. She lives on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. I will call her and tell her you might stop by. Great, thanks. What do you know about the voodoo murders? The killings in the newspaper? I know that they have nothing to do with true voodoo in New Orleans. What makes you think the voodoo murders aren't being done by local practitioners? Voodoo is a popular boogeyman, Mr. Knight, especially in New Orleans. Anyone can pretend to use it, just as anyone can pretend to be a black belt in karate, and for the same reason, to intimidate. I know voodoo in this city, Mr. Knight, and believe me, it is not about killing. Even the police have stated that the killings have nothing to do with local voodoo. So, you know nothing about the voodoo murders case? I neither know nor care to know, Mr. Knight. My only possible interest is in how it might affect the public's attitude towards the museum. So far, it has not been an issue. No one has even had the bad taste to bring it up. Until you, that is. What do you think of New Orleans? It is the only city in the United States as far as I am concerned. What is it about New Orleans that you so admire? It has a real culture of its own, Mr. Knight. 
amid the hard blandness that is Americana. New Orleans alone has a voice. Spoken like a true New Orleanian. Do you know anything about snakes? Ah, you have perhaps noticed the museum's snake, Mr. Knight. They are beautiful creatures, do you not agree? And the tourists seem to associate them with voodoo. Is the snake yours? Do you use it in your practice of voodoo? I admire the spirit of this snake, Mr. Knight. But snakes like the museums can be quite dangerous to handle. You didn't really answer my question. I think I did, Mr. Knight. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It is one of the important ceremonial nights in voodoo. What else can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I am afraid I do not know the origins of St. John's Eve. I only know that it was a night of ritual long before voodoo came to New Orleans. Do you have any idea what Capri saint Gaulle means? I fear my French is not all it should be. Tell me about yourself. Me? Yes, if you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? Why did you open a voodoo museum? The subject has fascinated me all my life, and I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. What kind of background in voodoo do you have? Let us say that I cut my teeth on it, Mr. Knight. It is in my blood. Do you do anything besides run the museum? No. The museum does not make me a rich man, but my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus on my one true interest in life. What are your own religious beliefs? My beliefs are too personal and too complex to discuss with a layman. Just tell me anything. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? I was drawn here for personal reasons. I am a vegetarian. Really? I can't imagine living without meat. That must be the hunter in you, Mr. Knight. I do not care for small talk, Mr. Knight. I am not an easy person to get to know. I am a very private man. Isn't that unusual for someone in the museum business? Not at all. My displays speak for me. Not everyone can come see the museum, so I occasionally do public speaking on the subject of historical voodoo. Anything coming up that I might attend? No. But then, you have me all to yourself right now, do you not? Actually, I can't think of a thing. Then, let us discuss something else.